Hello. Oh, I muted my mic. What? I thought it was like the internet because the internet's trash here. Yeah. All right. Well, I was talking to a wall. I'm not going to be doing the space for that long, so. <laughs> it's funny because um, <laughs> um, like I'm in South America for the first time and I'm sick and so I'm like using like Google Translate to like translate the medicine bottles to try and figure out what's what um, which is funny I guess Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a cough drop, I'm not eating ice. Did you get your soup? I did, I had some soup. I had some chicken soup earlier. It's pretty good. Are you in the bath? Yeah, I'm in the bath. Taking a steaming hot bath. Maybe it'll help with my sinuses clearing up. Tell us and, you can, and we can help you translate it. I, I, I worked it out. But there is like, it's like shower gel. Is that what you I hear that's called? Like, is shower gel like body wash? Or is it something different? Because I couldn't find any body wash. Well, there's a shower gel and then body lotion. You know? I feel like body lotion isn't body wash. Maybe it is. What do you guys call it? Did George fight you for the window? Fight you and Sarah for the window seat on the plane? No, we actually all just took the seats that we wanted. I regret my seat though, because I I kept like falling asleep, and I could I didn't have like anything to lean on, so I would like fall forward and hit my head on the front seat, and then stuff awake, and I was like sick. I've never had that happen before. I kept waking up to like my head hitting the this seat in front of me. <laughs> Thoughts on banter doing a literal interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson. That was awesome. Yeah, I watched. I watched it. I watched it earlier. It was cool. It's Halls. I think it is cherry. It's red. I don't know if it's cherry, but now it's gone. I could have another though, maybe. You mean Capiani is my signature clothing? I have a collection now. That is awesome. Capiani are cool. I like them. It's perfect for like Florida too because it doesn't make your like head hot or anything. Cause not it, it's like knitted. It's not like a full on beanie. Is that George Carl in the same room right now? I don't know, but they've been able to hang. Well. Um, I, ever since like we got here, I've been like quarantined and so were George and Nick at first because I was sick. And so they wanted, we wanted to make sure like they weren't, I was like avoiding like being, being next to them and stuff all the time. But then everyone tested negative for COVID, including me, but I actually feel terrible. So I'm not going, I'm not going around them just to be safe. I don't want to get anyone sick, especially because it would be a waste of <laughs> us flying here. And the, it was ridiculous. Oh my God. I flew like, it was like 50 straight hours. And like, obviously it wasn't flying 50 straight hours, but it was like, I was in airports for, I think it was like 40, 46 hours straight or something. Did you get a lot of OU beanies in your PO box? I haven't seen yet. But I did, I did lose the OU knitted one that I got. I feel bad. Like they'll, they'll make me another one <laughs> next time I go to an OU game. Or I'll have, I'll have a bunch in my P.O. box. Either way. I don't know where I lost it, but I lost it. Maybe someone has it. <clears throat> How do you keep getting sick every time you leave home? Well, this time makes more sense because we were out, like, around a lot of people. And it was like a dream meet and greet most of the time. So everyone was up in my ear. 
and in my face. So I probably just got like a viral infection from somebody. That's what the doctor told me. Last time it was just like, it was my first time leaving ever. So it made sense that I got sick as well. Sit in the student section next time we go wild. Yeah, I, I, I maybe, maybe. Hopefully, if the game's not as cold as that was, that was freezing. But it would be fun. I mean, I went to a the, like one of the best memories of my life, like ever, was um, I went to a UCF game in Central Florida, and it was at the end of their like UCF's not traditionally good in football, and so it was at the end of their like first ever like undefeated season, and they're playing against their, their biggest rival. And they just like all lined up and the, the whole thing was packed and everyone was going like absolutely crazy. And UCF has one of like the youngest attendance, att attendance rates, I guess. Like it has the most, like the largest as well. And everyone was just going crazy. And then the game, the game was like awesome and it ended on like a kickoff return touchdown. So everyone went absurdly crazy. But yeah, the, the trip to Oklahoma was probably some of the best memories of my life. It was awesome. I'm happy that I got to share it with Nick. I wish, I wish George was there. In the future, he'll go as well. Are you watching FIFA? I've watched some of the, some of the, I've watched like parts of some of the matches. Any plans for Thanksgiving tomorrow, Jane, even though you're sick? Unfortunately, I think I'll be quarantined for everyone. So maybe I'll be feeling a lot better tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, maybe. Well, I can't refresh my mentions now. It says rate limited exceeded. I don't remember this being a thing. How did you lose it? I don't know. I, I don't actually know. I, I was wearing it all the time. I might have. I wasn't wearing it all the time. I was carrying it sometimes with me. I might have set it down somewhere and then, and then forgot it or it fell off or something. I can't refresh my mentions. Lame. <laughs> All right, I think my rate limit is fixed. Are you missing the last MTC of the season? I will be, unfortunately. All of the Dream Team will be, as far as I know. Actually, I know all of the Dream Team will be. So. Unfortunately. I don't know if I'll, I, I don't think I'll be in any more MCCs. Um, obviously, I love MCC and shout out to them. They did, they did like an amazing job with everything. I think it's just like, I care too much about um, my, my skills and um, with like the MCC Island and everything, and I don't have enough time to practice and go ham and whatever that I'll be, I'll just probably disappoint myself too much. And so I think I'll probably backseat and be in maybe, you know, Nick's playing or George is playing. I'll be in, be in their room and cheering them on or something. It'll be a fun way to be involved, but not be involved. Um, but not actually play, I mean. I'll definitely get back to streaming. The only reason I haven't streamed so far is because we don't have internet at the Dream Team house, and that's where I've been, like, at least 50% of the time. And then, like, I'm still getting set up in other places, so when I do travel to places, I I'll be able to do stuff like live stream and whatever else. So this is kind of a trans it's a, it's a transition period right now. A lot of the stuff that I've planned to do hasn't been able to happen, and there's been a lot of viral stuff, and I think finally being able to go out after, like I, I'm disappointing myself for not being able to um, upload more and do more stuff, but um, you know, just have a return hopefully at the end of the year and then um, be able to pop off and go forward, mix it up, new new era of dream, new era of dream team, um, yeah, new new everything. Thank you.
mile tattoo. I want to be matching with you. Um, I think me, George, Nick, and Quackity, we're all going to get like matching locations of tattoos. Um, but um, Safnaf and George don't necessarily want to do it. Well, I think Sam said he'd do it if I also got one, two, three with him. And I was like, okay, I, would, I think I'd do that. I think George is the one that doesn't doesn't know if he wants to get a tattoo. But I'm going to do it anyway, so I'd love to do it with them. That would be fun. Yes, that is me. A little hamster. Promote the new patch. Yeah, guys, there's patches merch. Patches merch. Woo. I like it a lot. It's very cool. Thoughts. Bro, Foolish is an attractive ass man. How is this a Minecraft streamer? I don't understand. How is this like a guy who did dream reactions on YouTube? Bro is fine. That's, that is actually, it's actually like unfair. I mean, I guess to be fair, it is fair because he works his fucking ass off. He's always jogging or lifting weights or something. Bro wakes up in the morning, chugs a beer, runs out, does a fucking 20 mile run. And then starts like, I don't know, lifting his entire setup and curling it. What's your favorite part about Chile so far? I haven't done anything. I've just been quarantined. <laughs> Landed, went into a room and then I've you know, just been sleeping and in the room the entire time. Having like vitamins and stuff brought to me and doctors come in my room. What's your opinion on cilantro? I like cilantro. I don't have the gene or whatever that makes it soap. Please, may we have one more MCC and he's proper send off. I think the last MCC was a good send off. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I won the last one, right? And it was with George. Maybe less likely we were like able to team and stuff in the future as well. But yeah, I got the five one coin. Took a dub. And it's just before the face reel. That's pretty awesome. I'm happy. I don't know what my favorite dream team will be so far in person. That's tough. There's been so many. I feel like there's been so there's been so many awesome moments, like individually and like as a group. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, there was um, George. I, I, I'm not gonna like go into going to specifics. Cause George will probably like George might post something about it, but like. We were, we were on the plane on the way here. There, there was a moment where, like, literally, both George and Nick are literally crying of laughter. <laughs> and I'm sitting there laughing as well about <laughs> what's happening. And George has, like, his phone out. And is like, recording Nick, like, literally tears, like, running down his face. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like we have, we have such a, we have, we have such an amazing time together. It's a lot of fun. George locking the fridge is pretty funny. Nick and George play ping pong a lot with each other. Because George used to play tennis, so. How many times have Seven and George fought already? They, they fight quite a bit, but it's always like, I mean, it's, not, it's not always lighthearted, but it always ends lightheartedly. Like, Nick's like, bro, he's, he's like made like five holes in the wall. <laughs> he's like, the walls are thin, but like no one else has made a hole and he's made like five different ones. Do they ask you to reach the top shelf for them? Not the top shelf, but there's like a, a stereo <laughs> in one of the closets that you need to turn on to like watch movies and <laughs> they can't reach it. So George has asked me multiple times to turn that on. There you go. There's your DNF.
There's been quite a few people at the Dream Team house. Um, I mean, foolish. Yeah, but everyone who went to Universal hung out there. So it was like foolish, Sylvie, puns, uh, Hannah, Carl, um, and then all of us. I'm trying to think. I feel bad if I forgot somebody. I think so far that's everybody that's been over. Do you join the we'll cuddle while watching movies together? Yes, we do. We massively cuddle. Any Christmas plans? We each have a Christmas stream, an IRL Christmas stream planned. Each of us. So it wouldn't be on Christmas, but, but it'd be before Christmas. Um, and the only thing, uh, no, no matter what, we'll do it. Because even if we have to like rent a place with the internet, then we'll do that. So no matter what, we'll do that. <laughs> It's hard to think about like best memories. It's such a tough question. It's like, what's your best memory of this? So, I don't know. There's been so many. It's been great. Um... <coughs> Did you and Sam share a bed, a hotel room in Oklahoma? Don't lie. We shared a hotel room a couple nights. Not every night, but we never shared a bed. Did you meet no one? I haven't met anybody yet. I've just been quarantined. <laughs> Everyone's like two feet away from me and I, I can't see anybody yet. How did you like Oklahoma? You're welcome every time. It was amazing. Like I said earlier, some of the best days of my life. It was so much fun. And obviously I, I love the Oklahoma Sooners and so it was surreal being able to go around the facilities and the game was amazing and um, I don't know. Me and Nick had a blast we just, where we were just Going crazy. It was fun. I think um, uh, something that will make you guys happy, I think, is uh, Michael Turk, who's the punter for Oklahoma Sooners. He, he recorded a lot of he's – a, he's a YouTuber, and he recorded a lot of um, a lot of footage while we were there. Like, me and Sam did, like, 1v1s and football. We did, like, height and weight checks. We did, um, like, a, the tour of the facility. We recorded that TikTok. Um, uh, we, we played, I, I tried to like swing, like hit a golf ball and totally embarrass myself. Um, I think he's making a vlog about it. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure he is. Um, so that'll be really cool for you guys to check out after he does it. If he does, um, you get to see a lot of our kind of behind the scenes, uh, together of doing that. Gross. <clears throat> I had so many layers on in the game and blankets. It was crazy. Fuck yeah, Turk is awesome. Turk is awesome. He was so cool. He was so nice. Such a nice guy. Very down to earth. I mean, the whole, the whole team was very nice. I, I don't know my favorite bath bomb. I don't know. Has George met any of your family members yet? Yeah, he's met pretty much my entire family. All right, I'm gonna get out of the bath. I'm like pruning up, so um, it was fun. Love you guys. Talk soon. Hopefully, I feel better. Uh, send me all your your wiggles for cross your fingers, everyone collectively. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hearts, hearts, hearts.